So let's talk about Waxstock 2018. But first, I'll put the kettle on. Cheers. Welcome back to Hotchkiss Performance. Okay, so our first wax stock is now out of the way. So I just thought I'd give my overall thoughts on it, um, just to give you an idea of what um, the show is all about and the type of things uh, that you are going to expect. This year was our first time. I know it was for a lot of people. A lot went last year. And they did say that it has kept growing over the years. They moved to a different arena now, uh, which is the Rico Arena. I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, which is bigger than the old arena that they had, which is a testament to show that detailing is growing uh, as an industry and as a market because it is still fairly niche. It is a small sector to, uh, you know, uh, businesses, but it is growing, which is good to see. Just before we get into my thoughts on the event, I would just like to go through a list of people that I would like to thank that made the day uh, for me and my dad because he also attended. First up, uh, you will have probably heard of him. Um, he is quite prominent on social media. And that is Andy Miles at Miles Drive. He did want uh, me to let you know that he's not called Miles, he's not called Mr Drive, uh, it is Andy. But call him what you want because he really doesn't care. <laughs> So he was there for around 10 minutes uh, when Andy approached us, uh, introduced himself, uh, we had a good chat and you know I just wanted to thank him because he introduced us to a lot of other people at the event that probably we wouldn't have approached because we just didn't know who they were. So he kind of involved us with a lot of the traders uh, and the brand owners which was uh, very kind of you Andy, uh, I know he'll be watching this video, at least I hope he is. Uh, that's what you know, we all love about Andy. He watches all the YouTubers, he brings the community together. He's just a kind, a genuine soul. Uh, if you ha don't follow him, then you should be. Uh, it's Miles Drive on Instagram. So go and follow him and thank you, Andy. Uh, he kept us laughing all day. Absolute pleasure to meet you. Next up, Paul Dolden Details. Big friendly giant because he is, he is huge. Uh, yep, yeah, he wrote me into an interview on his channel, which you might have already seen that video, and was one of the first sort of people that helped us along with our channel because he did a video and you know shouted us out, and a lot of his subscribers obviously subscribed to us when we we're a very small channel. So you know he's just always helping, just a really nice guy. Talked to him quite a lot on social media, so it was good to meet him in person. Um, you know, because you don't get a sense of how tall everyone is when they're sat down in front of a camera. So thanks a lot, Paul. Steven at Windows and Wheels. You did acknowledge us uh, when you first saw us and you came to shake his hand. Much appreciated. Thank you also for the drink because we did go to sat sort of outside of the arena, there's a little bar area where you can sort of just sit down and have a casual chat without all the, you know, the noise of the arena. Uh, so that was really good uh, to meet yourself and uh, you know just have a drink with you and just chat about you know general things and not just detailing. On that same note, Jay at Juicy Details uh, was on the stand with Stephen, was helping out. Again, just a genuine guy, um, really involved us with the conversation and you know I'd say that we'd never met him before. It was just so easy to talk to and uh, if you don't know of Juicy Details, then please uh, go and follow them. They're, they're on all the platforms, um, especially when you get to meet the owners behind the brand. It is quite a privilege because a lot of the time they are sort of a faceless company. Uh, we all are because we just trade under as, um, you know, business names and you don't see the face behind the brand. So thanks a lot, Jay. Sam at Sam's Detailing, fellow Yorkshireman from Sheffield. Uh, they are a local company to us uh, and I approached the stand and Sam clicked and said oh yeah I've watched your 
YouTube videos, which was, you know, quite a privilege for us. Um, it, it just reminds you that people do actually watch these videos and, and they enjoy them, which makes me, you know, boost my confidence with it and, you know, it gives me faith that, you know, to keep going and just, you know, try to release videos more regularly. Do apologise for not doing that, but shout out to you, Sam, if you're watching this, I will have to come and see you very shortly. Another shout out to Luke at Tranquility Based Detailing. Um, we have collabed before. Uh, he was very kind enough to invite me onto one of his videos when he visited Tony at Wax Planet, which is another company local to us. And that collab really did shoot this channel into the public eye in the industry um, because it was such, such a small channel, uh, probably under 100 subscribers and Luke uh, involving us in the video and shouting us out and giving us a lot of support. You know, it brought us to the level we are at now. Still relatively small, but it is growing. So honestly, Luke, thank you. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll always remember that, that you did help us when we was, you know, hardly anyone knew who we was. But that was a really good day and hopefully we can collab again soon. Just a few more honourable mentions, which are Mark and Sean at Exposure Detailing. Followed you for a while uh, on Instagram and Facebook. Um, you know, really good at what you do. Fellow tradesmen, you know, you do a fantastic job. It was nice just to see you, shake your hands and, uh, you know, exchange a few words, just brief conversations, but it's good that you, you sort of take note of, uh, of each other uh, and appreciate what we're doing. Try to look down at my notes here, just a few more. Gav from Prime Details came along with Paul Dolden. Again, just uh, really good to meet you. Levi at the Rag Company. Uh, we all know who he is. Rag Company is a very prestigious uh, cloth manufacturer uh, and wash mitts and towels. Uh, he obviously flew all the way over from America to see us all meet and greet, which was great. You know, it's really, appre really appreciative of that, that, you know, people take the time to, to talk to you and just, just interact with you, uh, even if they've never seen you before in their life, but they still acknowledge you and want to have a conversation. So thank you. Also, Armin and Asan, I hope I've pronounced your names right. Um, you did make me laugh. Uh, very polite, you, you just came up and I know you watched the channel, uh, it was good to meet you, um, like I say, just thank you for uh, showing your face. Stephen Patterson, we have talked quite a lot on social media, uh, also a lover of Wax Planet um, and you know we just have a laugh and we, we talk so it was good to meet you as well. There was a random stranger that actually come up to me shook my hand and said, yep, yeah, I really love your reviews on YouTube. Uh, completely just didn't get your name because it was I was being dragged to a photo opportunity. So I do apologise for that. Please let yourself be known in the comments if it was you that said hello. Uh, sorry, we couldn't have more of a conversation. Paul Nelson, um, so you, we talk, you know, pretty much every day on social media. But I didn't get much chance to talk to you at Wax Stop because it was so busy. But on the way back uh, up home, you did pass by mine and we just, you know, had a chat and went for a drink and it was, uh, it was spot on. So thanks for that, Paul. Also, just very quickly, some apologies because I didn't get to meet everyone that I would have liked to. Um, Alan, AM Details, he did get everyone together for a photo, which was great. Uh, thank you very much for involving me in that, Alan. Um, I didn't want to have just a good uh, chat to you because what you do for the community is amazing. You bring us all together, you're positive, you know, you don't throw out any hate or anything like that. It's just pure positivity and, it, you know, it's good to see your energy. You're just always upbeat and, you know, that's the kind of people that we need. So did really want to speak to you. Hopefully we can sometime soon even if it's collabing on a video or next year at Waxstock. Jim White, we all know who Jim is. He probably doesn't watch this channel, but I uh, really want to speak to him. But again, he was just so busy. Uh, just like Alan, uh, you just couldn't grab him. Ron at Valet Nova. I think a lot of people sort of 
you know, hold you up there on the pedestal because you, uh, you know, you're doing amazing cars, you do amazing work, and you just so everyone knows who you are on social media. It's good to follow you and watch your stories of the jobs that you do. Uh, I did uh, clock you a few times, uh, but again, you was busy. People were buying things, and uh, you were talking to a few people. So, excuse me. Would it be nice to meet you, mate? Hopefully, we can do sometime soon. If not, again next year same for craig at pride detailing we have met before now but it would have been good just to catch up again at wax stock because you know you live so far away which everybody sort of does and um, we all live all over the country and it's difficult to meet people and, and have everybody in the same room at the same time so it was quite difficult um, to get around everybody but i just wanted to mention those people um you know both an a, th a thank you and an apology i did want to thank everybody that also involved my dad he came along uh, because he is just as much into detailing as as i am and he was the the man that trained me up into the detail that i am being in the industry for so long um and for everyone that involved him it it really meant a lot to me, um, really appreciative of that because without him there wouldn't be a Hotchkiss performance because you know he just, he keeps me, keeps me on the straight and narrow, he's positive, you know a number of times I thought about quitting just YouTube and even the job itself because it, it's not an easy, an easy job and YouTube channel, it's slow progress and, and he just keeps me going. Um, you know, always positive and pushing me to, to keep uh, marching on and, and to get to ultimately the goals that I have in life. So thank you, Dad. And just to everybody that acknowledged him, had a conversation with him, shook his hand. Uh, I know it meant a lot uh, to him and especially to me. So thank you. So if we move on to the general show in general, we start with the cars on display. I don't want to be too negative because anybody that you know shoves their car in front of a panel of judges un to go under scrutiny, I admire. You know, it, it takes guts and courage to put your car there and say, "Yep, I'm open to the criticism and the comments." So I don't want to sound negative. There were a few, I would say, issues that could have been rectified before the show. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm, you know perfect but some of the things were basic basic tasks we're not even talking the details um you know we're, we're talking just in general car cleaning glass um wheel arches that kind of thing could have been done a little better like i said just my overall opinion you know no bs on this channel um so i was i was left a little disappointed you know, it is a detailing show after all, and at the end of the day, that should be the pinnacle of the UK industry and, you know, showing the best that we've got, pretty much. So, you know, it, I think it, that can be improved. Uh, maybe the judges need to be a bit more strict. That's just, again, my opinion. I'm not uh, throwing any hate towards anybody or the judges. In general, the show for me is about the people. Um, it's not about the the products or the offers and the sales or the cars on display even it is about the people the community because that's all life is about it's about the people that come together to enjoy a common interest that we all have because there's not many people that are into this uh, detailing and spending hours on your car on a weekend a lot of people think you're crazy so it's good to you know meet other people that are just as crazy as you are so overall i did enjoy the show i did enjoy it and i will be returning next year uh, and i'm hoping that it keeps growing and more people jump on board and come and visit and speak to speak to us and we can you know just meet more and more people and involve them in the community um so they are my general thoughts uh, and i just want to kind of end it on a special thanks to all the organizers that make it possible people behind the scenes you know we might turn up on a sunday but there's all them that are prepping the cars and the stands organizing the arena 
probably months, weeks in advance, and it's easy to forget about those. So, you know, special, special thanks to them to, to bring everyone together uh, in a positive uh, community that we do have. Um, I'm very grateful. I am blessed for everyone on this channel that watches, all the people that I've had the privilege to speak to and meet over the course of YouTube and just detailing in general. Um, I don't know, it feels like you have got a, quite a bond with everybody that's into the same thing. Um, you know, some are against each other and there's a bit of negativity thrown about, but we're not bothered about those people. Um, it's just them that are enjoying what they do, enjoying life, uh, and all coming together to just enjoy it. So, you're probably wondering what I bought. Um, well, as this is the XL Detailing Supplies shopping channel, I'll tell you what I bought. Here we go. So, what did I buy? A glass shine. A glass shine. Uh, this one is a is a clean career glass shine. And we've also got a clean career glass shine. Um, yeah, and, and that that's it. So that's uh, all I bought from Waxstock. Please let me know what you bought. So that wraps the video up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you did attend this year or perhaps last year, what you think to the show in general. Um, you know, if you were disappointed, if you was happy with it. Uh, it's great to hear from you. Again, the community is why I do this and why I do this channel. Sorry I'm not being uh, regular with the videos. Just, as I always say, there's a lot going off and it can be quite tough to record videos when it's pretty much 100 degrees outside here in the UK, as I'm sure you're all aware. Um, and, you know, trying to record doing product reviews when the sun's beating down and you're wondering if the product's going to dry on the car, it can be quite dangerous. Getting the camera set up and all the work can be quite a hassle. Yeah, you could just say it's just excuses, and it probably is, but, um, you know, it's just when you're busy, it's easy to just kind of get your head stuck in the job and, and not bother with the camera and such like, but... Really appreciate them that have stuck with me and not unsubscribed and, you know, keep the faith. Sorry I didn't get any footage. I just wanted to take it in for the first year I went without uh, cameras and lenses and behind all that. Uh, I just wanted to go and enjoy it. And I shall see you in the next one. Cheers.